Okay, to finish up my rant about Clarence Thomas and the decision that came down in the Supreme Court in Box v. Planned Parenthood, where Clarence Thomas took the opportunity to go off on a rant um, attacking Margaret Sanger. This, and, and, and basically saying that the, the, you know, the real racists are black women, right? Because they, they abort their, their fetuses at higher rates than white women do, uh, which is you know, basically what Thomas said. Um, in fact, Amanda Marcotte uh, wrote a brilliant piece about this that I, re I recommend you check out over at Salon.com. And um, the, the argument that she, uh, she has laid out or that, that uh, Clarence Thomas laid out is suggesting that Margaret Sanger was promoting birth control. Now, keep in mind, Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, was never promoting abortion. At that point in time, I mean, this was back at the, at the beginning of the 20th century, um, at that point in time, abortion was not a safe, clean medical procedure. I mean, it just, you know, it, it wasn't there, and she was not in favor of it. Um, the whole thing of Planned Parenthood was being able to plan your families through something called birth control. And in fact, back then, the principal birth control method was condoms, and that's what Margaret Sanger was promoting. Um, although she also, she invented the phrase birth control and she proposed that there should be a birth control pill that men or women could use. And, and so, you know, she's kind of the, 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 the grandmother of all this stuff, right? And one of the things that we know is that, yes, there is, there's a higher abortion rate in the black community than there is in, a white, in the white community as a percentage of the population. But the reason for that is because in many black communities in the United States, uh, communities of poverty, there is very little or no access to health care. And so there's no way to get birth control pills or people can't afford birth control pills or they can't go to the doctor and, and get birth control pills and things like this. But since the Affordable Care Act, and I think this is a really important point, since the Affordable Care Act was passed, the uh, abortion rate for black women has been dropping precipitously. Why? Because now a lot of women who didn't have access to birth control have access to birth control. But Clarence Thomas, in his rant uh, in, in this uh, box versus Planned Parenthood uh, thing, just goes off and says, no, no. It, you know, it says the birth control is part of this effort to commit a racial genocide, to, to encourage birth control. I'm not talking abortion, birth control, to encourage black women not to have babies. Now, Mar and, and he blames it all on Margaret Sanger. And Margaret Sanger, I mean, she, she partnered with W.E.B. Du Bois uh, to open clinics geared toward black women to g obtain contraception. And it wasn't because they wanted to say, oh, there should be fewer black people. It was because they wanted black men and women, black families, to have the ability to function economically. I mean, having a, an unwanted or unexpected child can be economically devastating to a family and multiple unwanted or un, unplanned children can be extraordinarily devastating. It perpetuates poverty. And, and uh, you know, and they both knew this. But, and, and, and by the way, uh, this is a note from her article. This is quoting one of these experts. Due to segregation policies in the South, the birth control pl clinics that opened in the 1930s were for white women only. Margaret Sanger wanted to cha change that. So Clarence Thomas attacks her for this. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just really remarkable. And, and Amanda, in her, uh, her wrap-up of her piece um, over at Salon.com, uh, Clarence Thomas makes it clear the right is coming for birth control. Uh, she writes, demonizing Margaret Sanger is clearly meant to stigmatize her legacy. But her legacy is not abortion, which, again, she opposed, but birth control. It was Sanger who coined the term birth control. It was Sanger who went to jail repeatedly for teaching women how to prevent pregnancy. And it was Sanger who envisioned the concept of the birth control pill, eventually securing the funding that allowed it to be developed. So here we have Clarence Thomas, a chief justice, or not the chief justice, one of the justices of the U.S. Supreme Court, literally lying about the, the, the policies and practices of the founder of, of Planned Parenthood and of what Planned Parenthood is all about and, and repeating these insanely racist memes coming out of the hard right that, uh, you know, abortion is all about reducing black babies, when it's not. 
So anyhow, the bottom line here, get ready. All women, regardless of your race, get ready because the attack on birth control is coming.